this shot is being taken on the ISO 12800. Um, this is a pretty low lit room. I think the lighting might be too much though, but yeah. <laughs> and then this shot is being taken on the best ISO being 800. So same lighting, nothing has changed pretty much. This is pretty much the settings that I used most of the time. And I've always wondered why my footage is always dark. But anyway, I'm learning these things. <laughs> All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about Sony's Cine AI in your FX3, FX30, FX series, any Sony camera that is a cinema camera. So one of the things that happened for me was when I started using the FX3, got an update, update 3.0, and all of a sudden you could use Cine AI and you have different log shooting settings. What is Cine AI? When you're in Cine AI mode, it, Cine AI is basically an exposure function of, for your camera. What this does is if you remember the basics of exposure in your camera is aperture, ISO, and shutter speed, right? So what happens with Cine AI, it affects your ISO, how you're able to control your ISO. Sony cameras and most cameras have what they call native ISO. Sony, the FX3 has two, it's a dual-based ISO, so that is 800 and 12,800. So what happens is when you're in Cine AI mode, you are able to use only two ISO values, that is 800 or 12,800. You don't get to use anything in between compared to when you're in different log shooting. So if you're shooting, let's say, in um, flexible ISO or if you're shooting in just the normal S-log, you you're able to shoot at 1,200 ISO. You're able to shoot at 4,000 ISO, 3,200 ISO. Whereas with Cine EI mode, you only have two options and it won't let you choose any other thing. What then happens is through your monitor, so with the EI values that you see through your monitor, so when you start playing with your wheel, depending on what you said to shift your ISO, what you are doing is you're switching the brightness off your screen. So it's telling you how in something would look like in post. So instead of, so if you're shooting, let's say at the base ISO of 12,800, when you play with the wheel, what it does is it goes back to, is showing you what will happen when you step down the footage in post. So when you're in post, when you go on the exposure value and then you step it down, that each level that you step it down, it shows you the amount of information that you have. And this is a good thing because you have more dynamic range in the footage that you're using. So one of the challenges that I've faced in a lot of times is because I've been doing a lot of scenes in the dark and I've had my camera in Cine EI mode because I mainly just use 800 and I, I never thought of it. I just thought it's cool to have CDEI. I tended to forget. So what would happen is when we're shooting because it's day of shoot and you're trying to get photographers as fast as possible, I would forget to change my base ISO. And then in post, I'm like, my footage looks too dark. What happened? We were increasing ISO on the day, but what was happening is we were increasing the brightness of the screen rather than focusing on changing the base ISO. Because even on the day, when you're shooting, you're like, yo, there's noise in, in, in this footage. What's going on? What's going on is we are on the wrong best ISO. So we were supposed to switch to 12,800. And I think that's one downfall that comes with using this. If, if you don't keep it in top of your mind that, oh, I have to switch my best ISO, you're better off you're shooting in like the normal log where you can then increase ISO to meet whatever standard it is. But to get the best out of your camera, Cine AI works. Um... For me now, it's it's a lesson learned. I did it on two short films. Now I now know whenever we're doing anything in the dark, increase, just change it. You only have two options. Um, and the other thing that happens is when you press the ISO button on your camera, it will say not available in Cine EI mode, which also should work as a, as a reminder that, oh, I have to go switch the best ISO. I'm not too sure what we're shooting on in terms of best ISO right now, but I think we're at 800 um, one of the things that always happens is when I shoot my roommate's videos, it's like, hey, the video you gave me is dark. And I never used to get it. But the thing is, the video is dark because we, we're not properly exposing. So that goes on to show you, you need to learn your camera. You need to understand your camera and what it can do. These, these things are very powerful and, and brilliant, but you have to understand how to use it. Um... So in a nutshell, that's what Cine AI is. Cine AI is more of an exposure tool rather than uh, a cheat. You know, it's you're still getting the same functionality. It's just that you've lost your ability to shoot at different ISO modes. 
and I think it's it's actually great because you're getting the best dynamic range that the camera can give you, right? Rather than operating. I mean, you can go crazy with it, but these are the two be- at the way it performs best according to the manufacturer. So yeah, I hope uh, you got some value out of this. If you did, smash that subscribe button and I'll be seeing you in the next one.